everyone welcome back to my channel and today we shall be doing a cc clean out i will be teaching all of you how to clean out your sims 4 custom content folders because if y'all are anything like me y'all folder is looking a little like a hot mess right now but that's okay because i am here to help y'all fix it so i might disclose how much like how much space my folder is actually taking up on my computer <laughs> later but that's only if i remember and if y'all are nice to me so we, it might be in this description box below this video as you're watching but today i will show y'all how to clean up your custom content folder because it's a new year and that means new custom content folders so i'll give y'all a little background on how i started out with this video we came up with this idea at first I was gonna start with a custom content shopping with me y'all could have we could have downloaded CC together I would have linked the people's websites that I went to and all that jazz but I felt like new year new decade we need to go in clean fresh and ready to ready to have space for next year ready for all the new year's clothes that people decide that they're ready to create so Today we're going to be cleaning out my folder and hopefully y'all can be cleaning out y'all folders at the same time too. So I'm going to explain how this works. So I use this program called the Sims 4 Tray Importer. I repeat the Sims 4 Tray Importer and basically that is what gives you. So I'll explain custom content is basically just files on your computer if you never downloaded it before. So a shirt or this pair of pants that my sim is wearing is just a file that someone has made and then put it on the internet for other people to download so that's how I came into contact with this pair of pants but sometimes you get CC that's broken or where you ever got like the little question mark on the face because you missed the mesh yeah we got all those hiding through our CC folders so that's when you would like to clean them out or you have a lot of old CC and you're not feeling inspired enough to actually want to create that's probably a good sign that it's time to clean out your folder so that is what we're going to do today so enough with that i shall show you how to do it this sim doesn't have a name yet so we shall see what happens lauren abel okay <laughs> lauren is able how about let's add a verb anyways so i don't they randomize this foolishness Okay, we're going to make her an actress. Yay. So Lauren has too many clothes in her closet and she would like to get rid of them because she's doing an end of year cleaning and she's trying to get lit this next decade. Just kidding. But y'all know what I mean. Anyway, so I guess we should start with, um, I guess we should start with tops. Okay. And I will give y'all like how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do this. So with this thing, you have five different possible outfits that you can have for each category. So each number is like one shirt, one hair, one pair of shoes, one accessory. Well, as many accessories as they will as you could wear, but whatever. So each one is what holds. Like each one will hold a file, as you could say. Like each one will hold an article of an outfit, like a whole outfit. But it's only like one. You only put like one shirt. So anyways, I hope I explained that good enough. Okay, so then for formal wear, you get... There's also five. If my lovely computer... Look, there we go. There's also five that you get. And with so on and so forth, if you have season, you're lucky. Because you got two more options. But the point is, each one of these holds a different thing. So then that makes it easier. <laughs> that makes, hopefully makes it easier. So that you will have enough space so that you can delete it okay so the point of this is we're going to try to figure out what custom content we don't want and what we do want and then we'll put if we don't want it then we'll put it on a file and then you'll see later why this is important so i guess we can start and i guess i'll just fast forward this part for y'all so y'all can see me get rid of stuff and stuff that i'm probably gonna look for is stuff that i have doubles of like let me see like this like there's there is a difference but it's not that big and do i find myself wearing one more than the other probably not which means i can probably get rid of both i hope y'all are seeing how this works if you have any questions put them in the comments below but prime example somebody forgot a mesh 
and now my sim is looking all crazy so <laughs> this is one that i will put on one of these numbers oh i got to give y'all another tip so when you do these numbers don't just go one through five because then you'll have to go and like each outfit is the same so if you i were to go if i were to keep going as i was making the outfits then number one would be like that then number two would be where's the broken one it would be this one and then number three would continue on to this one so the point is if you start with five you're gonna have to scroll all the way from where you were which is where is it where did she go oh wait i have only custom content this is a base game but you have to scroll from here all the way to here and if you so basically it's easier to not lose your spot when you open it as you go so that's one tip yay and another thing if you like the custom content like the things you forget if you have any default skins or default eyelashes that you have on your sims make sure you remember that <laughs> or remember at least who you got it from because when we go to the tray importer then the tray importer will pull up those files and you don't want to delete those you want to keep those okay back to the back to finding custom content all right guys so i just did the one for every day but you can do it for these blah 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 for these other what are those called those other styles of closings or categories of closing whatever but anyways so i just did the one for every day to just to prove a point you don't have to do it for all of them but i w would highly highly recommend that you choose oh goodness you <laughs> i recommend that you choose style looks for the rest of them just so that the when you use the application we're going to use later it doesn't pick up like any custom content that you didn't want it to pick up because random generated custom content is an issue and i just wanted to like that oh what what oh i guess it's just not like this one okay we're just gonna stick to yes much better fit okay but anyways we're changing the rest of them to ea style looks like those shoes i would get rid of them but i don't want to go through all of them right now so oh my goodness that hair was not a great example at all but anyways so you pick these random style looks for your sim so that the application does not pick up your custom content that you don't want to delete and you can do this for makeup and accessories just to let y'all know so if you had any makeup, hats, earrings, etc. that you wanted to get rid of, you could get rid of them here by adding them to the thing. And I don't think I have any right now that I care to delete. Some makeup maybe, but I would have to go through all 
of these and I can't be bothered right now. So she's not gonna wear no makeup. Well, any makeup on any of them. And then the daytime is just the stuff that we're gonna delete. So here's my lovely Sim. I'll show you the stuff that I choose to delete. The no offense to the creators, but it's just time to declutter. This is broken because I forgot a mesh. So it's just kind of like not functional. Like that hair is broken, as you can see. I don't think I will ever put her, that in a creative video, but that's besides the point. Anyways, but another thing that it may pick up is the eyes. So watch. Remember the files that you want to keep is the point. So the important stuff like skin and eyes, remember those, everything else, I guess you can download again later. But that's the stuff for you. That, those are the essentials, I would say. Okay, and then... We have eyeliner. No, I don't need any of that. Okay, so then I shall see y'all on my laptop. And then, okay, I guess I should show y'all this part. So before I say bye, here's my lovely Sim modded, of course, because we're getting rid of custom content and make sure you save it. You don't got to upload it to the gallery. You just save it to your household library. So welcome, guys. We are back to the sims 4 tray importer and this is of course after well i'll put the link in my description you click download and then you install on your computer it should be safe but then i would again i would again just say for your own sake download at your own risk because you can't trust nobody these days but download at your own risk and here's the tray importer keep in mind this is not the only way to get rid of custom content but this is a way that you can see it in game and you see how it looks and you can see how it looks on people versus the other way where it has the default thing and the other way is how they how their how CC is created I don't know much about that if I'm being honest but I like this way simply because I can see everything I want to delete so that is a file of the shirt that I wanted to delete and if you haven't seen my other creative sims, you should really watch them. Ignore the name. I just use them for my thumbnail. Anyways, so <laughs> here are the names of all the files that I would like to delete. And here are the files. Well, here are the folders that they are in location, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what that means. And then that's how much space is taken up on your computer. And then these are over. See, so those are the eyes I use and those are the lashes that I use and those are important you don't want those you don't want to get rid of those you do want those you don't. anyways okay ignore me so here are the trades bundle I want to keep that so you can not highlight that one and this one what's the name of that that see oh when you click it it'll show the item which is useful so you know so that's just another way to make sure that you are getting rid of what you want to get rid of Okay, see the other stuff was broken, and yes. Okay, so back to this one. So these are my custom traits, we're not gonna talk about those. And then, so we skip those, and then you just highlight what you want to delete. And then you're gonna right click on your mouse or your laptop touchpad or whatever you are using, as you are currently doing this with me, I assume. And you click show containing folder and what does that do and then it says more than one location has been selected this could be this could open more than one window continue you click yes because it'll give you less work because you don't want to open these one by one so we got all these windows popping open welcome to the party thank you very much okay so Here's my folder and it says three items are selected and you're going to hit that lovely, lo lovely, lovely button called delete. And now they're no longer selected. You're going to close it. Bam. And then <laughs> you go to the next one. 16 items and you click delete again. Oh, please ignore the number at the bottom. I know it's foolishness. This is why we're doing this video right now. Anyway, so <laughs> we're going to hit delete again. And this was back at the time that I decided I was going to be organized. And then 
custom content got the most of me and I did not organize my custom content. Don't be like me, kid should what? Kids, organize your custom content. If you can't organize it, probably means you don't need that much. Anyways, so you delete again. And guess what, guys? They're no longer going to be in your game. See that lovely little X? What is that sign called? The That means it's not available. Basic. Oh, that is so weird. What? I guess we missed that one. We'll try that again. But it's not selected. Okay. So skip. I'm assuming it's gone, but it might have to do with another piece of custom content. But it should be gone because when I do the show containing folder, it's not there. So I'm gonna count that done. So when you go back in your game, none of these items should be in there. And then the important part why we selected using the just the daytime outfit or whatever because that's only the clothes that would pop up or the files that would pop up for that sim that I downloaded well that I saved to my gallery you don't have to upload it, you just save it to your gallery okay I hope this was somewhat helpful and I hope y'all computers, well, your CC folders look a little better after this video. If you do like it, you should give a like because that likes for New Year, yeah. <laughs> but it's nice to talk to with y'all again. I'm excited for this New Year. We're going to have a great time and y'all should definitely join the family and see y'all. I can't say tomorrow, but I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> All right. Peace out, peoples.